This is one of the most requested videos ever. You've been asking me for a long time to create a video about creating a blog for your Shopify store. So this is it. In today's video, I'm going to show you not only how to create the blog for your Shopify store, but also how to think about your blog and how to source ideas, and most importantly, how to write your blog posts easily and effectively. Hi there, I am Rehab, an e-commerce coach and consultant, and on this YouTube channel, I share with you videos related to e-commerce, entrepreneurship, and more. So if you are interested about these things, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell. And now let's start with our topic. If you are wondering if you should have a blog for your Shopify store or for your brand, or this is something that it's not important, my quickest answer to this is definitely. Having a blog for your store, for your brand, will add a lot of credibility to your brand and will make your customers like your brand more because using your blog, you can help your customers by providing valuable information that can actually help them and make their journey easier. Let's say, for example, you sell wedding accessories. Imagine publishing posts about 10 tips, for example, to get your wedding stunning, or let's say, for example, 10 favors under $10 to give to your guests, or maybe creating a blog post about wedding themes or about wedding menus and so on. These are topics that your ideal customers care about. These are topics that will actually help your ideal customers in their wedding preparation. And this is where your brand will start to make difference because you're not only selling your products, you are helping your customers. You are putting them first. And while you are helping them, while you are putting them first, you are selling them your products as well as solutions to the problems they have. Most people think that they should be starting blogs for the SEO. Well, in my opinion, this is one of the reasons, but this is not the only reason. Starting a blog has much more positive benefits for your business than just ranking higher on Google. As I said before, it adds credibility, it makes you look like an authority in your field, and it helps your customers. And this is the most important thing any brand can do to their audience. Also, starting a blog will help you with your email marketing. On this YouTube channel, I have talked so much about the importance of email marketing and why you should be creating your email marketing system. And if you want to know more about why email marketing is important and how it will help you to create a solid, strong, sustainable e-commerce business, I highly recommend you to sign up to the free workshop I'm currently offering. In this workshop, I show you the exact framework that you should be applying to your business in order to be able to attract, convert, and most importantly, retain your customers. So if this is something you are interested about, if you want to know why email marketing is important, I highly recommend you to go down to the description and to sign up to this free workshop. It's 100% free and you don't need to pay any dollar. So yeah, your blog will help you with your email marketing system because using it, you will be able to communicate with your audience and with your list using blogs. You will be able to show them that you care. You will be able to get them back to your, to your store to read things that they are interested about. So getting back to the wedding store example, let's say for example, I signed up to your newsletter because I'm interested in uh, preparation for my wedding. Okay, and imagine I'm receiving emails from you weekly about tips and things that I can do to make my wedding better or things that will help me during preparation and stuff like that. Every time I receive an email from you, this is a new opportunity for you to convert me, a new opportunity for you to convince me as a potential customer that your brand is actually the best in the market for me. So I received your email, you are linking to a blog post and the topic of the blog post means so much to me because it actually solves a problem I'm currently having. So I go to your blog, I read your blog posts, it's amazing, I like it, you are linking to some products here and there, I click on them and this will get me one step closer to buying from you. Now that you know why starting a blog is very essential for your e-commerce business, I'm pretty sure many of you are saying, but this is a lot of work, this is time consuming, I don't know how to write, I hate writing, I can't come up with blog ideas, how would I be writing blog posts with more than 1000 words and so on. And yes, I totally understand you and every word you are saying is actually valid. It's true. 
Starting a blog is not something easy. It's not something you do lightly. Blogs are type of content that needs work. It's, they are like videos mostly, so they need work, they need dedication, and you must be putting effort into them. But they are very important and you can use them as your base content and then recycle or recreate this content over and over again in your Instagram reels, in your TikTok videos, on your YouTube videos and so on. Let's say, for example, you have created a blog post about 10 recipes or 10 items you should have in your weddings menu. What you can do is to take this content and turn each of these items into a reel or a short, or maybe turn the blog post itself into a YouTube video and use the same content, recycle the same content to get other contents for your brand or for your business. I always think that this is the smartest way to get everything working because otherwise you will be overwhelmed with creating all of this content and you will stop creating content for your business. So think about how you are going to use your large pieces of content, so in this case your blog posts, and how you are going to turn them into small pieces of content. Also, a very smart way to get the blog post easily is to use your previous emails. If you have been sending emails for your list for a long time, so most probably some of the emails have been performing better than others, and using these emails, you can get an idea about what your audience is actually interested about and recreate these topics as blog posts. Also another idea, and it is to collaborate with other businesses in your niche. You don't have to collaborate with your competitors, but you can collaborate with people who sell to your same exact audience and you can guest blogging with them. So they will write a blog post for you, you will write a blog post for them and so on. Guest blogging will help you because it will get you more exposure and it will help you to reach new customers and new people and also it will give you more credibility because if other brands are linking to you, they are mentioning you, it means that you, your brand is authentic and it's trustworthy. And not only that, also in terms of SEO, ghost blogging is very important because it helps you to get more backlinks and more exposure. Now concerning the frequency of your blog posts. I always tell my clients to start at least by one blog post per month. And I guess this is very healthy because you can plan out, for example, for six months ahead, decide what are the topics you want to talk about, write the blog post, and then, as I said before, recycle this content into reels, videos, and other piece of content that you can use for your business and for your social media profiles. Now, what I need you to keep in mind is that creating a good blog post is better than create two bad blog posts. So focus on the quality, not only the quantity. When it comes to blogging, sourcing ideas or coming out with topics is one of the challenges that you must overcome. And I'm gonna give you some tips that will help you to make your life way easier. One of the best things to find good topic ideas is to ask your customers. Ask them about what are the things that they find challenging, what are the things that they are interested about. You can send them an email, you can send them, do a poll on Instagram. Ask them about their opinions and read your reviews. Read the comments you have on social media, on your store, everywhere. People tell you a lot in their comments. You told me, for example, that you want me to create this video and that's why I'm creating this video for you. As simple as that. Now, my secret tip to never run out of ideas is to use ChatGPT. If you are one of my YouTube friends, so most probably you have watched my video about ChatGPT and how you can use it as an e-commerce brand owner. If you didn't watch it yet, I highly recommend you to watch it directly after this video. ChatGPT can help you to come up with topic ideas. It can even help you to write your blog posts. But as I said in my previous video, please don't copy the same exact blog post from ChatGPT and put it in your store. You must be smart about that. So you must rephrase things. You must make it more human. You must make it look like it was written by you. So use ChatGPT to source ideas, to create the structure for your blog post, but don't copy and paste the blog posts directly from there. So now that you know everything about blogs and why they are essential, let's move to my screen and let me show you step by step how you can set up your blog on your Shopify store. And most importantly, how you can profit from Shopify 2.0 to make your blog amazing and to make it stand out. So here I am inside of my Shopify store. And from here, I need you to go to online store. And from here, you go to blog posts. 
the first thing we need to do is to create your blog and you can create multiple blogs so you can create one blog for a topic another blog for another topic so it's like having let's say sections of your blog posts I will start by creating one so I will create blog posts in here and in here I'm creating actually my first blog post I will put anything as a title, but while you are creating your own blog post, please make sure that you are picking a title that looks interesting, that intrigues your customers into clicking and into reading. Okay, so I'm gonna call it simply trial blog post. In here, you can put everything related to the content, but wait with me, we are going to talk about this later. In here, you can add an expert, and in here, you can add everything related to the search engine listing. So. In here you can you have the page title the description and the url and the description is what people will see when they search on google so if i go to google now and i search for example for five recipes um, with almond milk let's say so this part you see in here is the part you are filling in here the title and the description so this is the title and the part in here the description is this part what I recommend you to do to choose the title and the description of your blog post is to actually go to Google, search for your topic and see what other people have been like using as titles and descriptions, especially the blog post ranking in the first page and learn from them and use something similar for your own blog post. After that, you have the URL and now it's by default generated using the title I have put, make sure it's simple, make sure it has the keywords you are using for this topic. If you are doing some advanced SEO work and you are using a special keyword, make sure it is in your title and it's in your URL. Once this is done in here on the right side, you will see that you can either keep your blog post visible, hidden, or you can make it visible. Then you can choose an image for the blog post. Then in here you have to put like the organization and in here you can choose the blog. So you can have uh, used your, the own one, the news one, which is the default one, or you can create a new blog if you wish. So you can, for example, create a blog for recipes, a blog for tips, if you wish. I recommend you to stay simple and use one blog post. It's enough. Okay, and in here you choose the default blog post template. We are going to talk about this in a while. So once this is done, you click on save and you will have your first blog post published. As simple as that. You can also use in here tags in order to, fil to use them as filters for your blog post. So let's say for example, you want to share recipes and you want to share uh, tips and you want to share multiple stuff and you want people to be able to filter them using the navigation filtering menu. You need to use tags and you need to uh, use these tags as filters in order to help your customers navigate your blog uh, posts and find what they are searching for. Okay, once this is done, we have our first blog. In order to have the blog actually showing on your store, you need to link to it from your navigation menu. So what you need to, go, to do is to go to navigation. And in here, I'm talking about the header section of your blog post, so uh, the, of your store. So now if I uh, view, for example, my online store, you will see that I don't have a blog in here. What I'm going to do is to go to the main menu and in here, I will add a menu item. I will call it blog and I highly recommend you to link to it in the main menu. In here, you can choose the blog. And this is the one I'm using, the default one. I will click on save. I will go back and now when I preview my store, I should be able to see it. Let's, let's do one refresh. And now when we do a refresh, we can see the blog in here. If you click on it, you will be redirected to the uh, blogs in here. If you have something published, you will see them. So getting back in here to our blog posts, this one, it's still actually, I guess it's still hidden. So we need to publish it in order to be able to see it here. But before doing that, let's move on to the theme editor and let's see how we can improve our blog posts. So I'm going to go to online store. And from here, I will go to customize. And I will choose to customize the blog posts and this is the default one okay because no blog post is published let me go back and publish my blog post so i can actually change something in here so choose it in here and make it visible okay now going back to online store going back to customize from here you go to blogs 
you can here edit the main blog page i'm not going to do that now you go to blog posts and you go to default blog post so this is the default one and as you can see this is the title so this is the title of blog post and in here i have the date and in here i should have the content if i have any content okay let me actually go back and add something even if it's not relevant but just some kind of text in here to make it uh, let's say clearer to you so i'm gonna copy the same thing from here like this just to have some content and i will click on save we will talk a little bit about how far you can go with the format in here in a few seconds but let's first decide about the blog post template so going to online store back to customization and back to blog posts so and now i have the title i have the content i have the, the date and i can go back to blog as you can see in here i have the blog post section and i have the blocks below it so if i have added an image the image would be here but i didn't add an image after that i have the title i have the share i have the content and i can add other blocks so but the most important thing in here that i want to talk about let's say for example you want to use your blog posts to market your products indirectly. So this blog post, for example, is about uh, good wedding favors. So you mentioned three wedding favors that you actually sell on your store. What you can do is to add a section in here and create a section, uh, for example, for a featured collection or a featured product section or a uh, multi-column section. And in this section, you actually show the products you have mentioned or you have talked about in this blog post and you can use meta fields to do that so you add a featured product from here for example i'm gonna add the featured product and you can feature the product in here or you can feature a collection or whatever you wish this is a very smart way of showcasing your products and like introducing them to your customers without actually pushing them directly into buying your products also if you are using seo and if your articles are ranking it's a very good way to show the new traffic your products by recommending them somewhere in your blog post what you need to keep in mind is that now until this moment you can't use meta fields inside of the blog post when it comes to the product features or collections but i guess this is coming very soon but if for now you want to get like different blog posts pages for each of your blog posts you link to the, you want to link to different products what you can do is to actually create different blog post templates for each of your products so if you want to create like very fancy blog posts what you can do is to create different blog post template for each of your uh, blog posts and then this way you can customize it as you wish and just link to it in the uh, blog post editor so let me share, show you let's say for example in this blog post i want to feature a specific product let's say uh, this one and i want to add for example another section where i maybe talk about the topic itself maybe i want to add uh, something that's for example image banner or whatever okay and it's dedicated for this same exact blog post i will do that i will click on save and before that, actually, I should create, I'm going to create one, create a template, and I will name it, for example, a blog post uh, trial. So this is going to be number one. This is going to be my first, uh, my first uh, one. I will create the template. And whenever I want to publish a new blog post, I will be creating a new template. And I will go back in here to my blog posts and I will be assigning this template to this exact blog post. So this way I can create amazing blog posts, I can link to products, link to collections, show photos and so on by using different blog post templates. So from here I will scroll down and in here under template I will actually choose a template I have just created. So I will choose it, I will save and I will preview the page to show you that I will be seeing the template i have just created so this is my blog post and here i have a product and in here i have a section so i know this is a little bit annoying because it means that you need to create a new blog pa page template for each of your blog posts but it's a very easy and straightforward way to make your blog post look very professional and to link to products to show images and to make the structure of this blog post uh, look very uh, professional
So this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching it and for staying up until the end. Before leaving, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel and to hit the notification bell. And most importantly, I want to remind you to like this video because by liking it, you will help it to reach more and more people. And also don't forget to leave a comment below telling me what topics you would like me to talk about. And I would be more than happy to help you out with the topics you think you need help with. And I would be more than happy to create videos for you based on your recommendations. See you next week. Bye bye.